I've been running down my list of top 10 things to do in Saigon. And in this video is something fast and furious. It's not for those full of fear or for the faint of heart. Here at number eight on my list is taking a motorbike tour through the city streets of Saigon. Now, for me personally, this might be a number one, two, or three because I grew up on a BMX bike. I was a pro BMX rider as a teenager. I've ridden motorcycles my entire life. So I am super comfortable on two wheels, comfortable on two wheels in a motor, comfortable on two wheels with a motor in this kind of traffic. But I'm trying to curate a list, a top 10 list of things to do in the city for let's say the average viewer of my channel. And riding a motorbike here is certainly not for everyone. It is not where you want to learn to ride a motorbike. The beach would be good for that. Here it's just total chaos. The rules are ever changing. People ride on the sidewalks. People ride the wrong way down one-way streets. District one motorbiking at its finest. The wrong way down the one-way street. It only seems to work by a sort of collective consciousness that everyone has when they seem to get out of each other's way at the last split second. We're also going to do something really awesome tonight, and that is do a motorbike tour of Saigon while feeding the homeless. It's a really great way to tour this city on a motorbike and also help out those in need. There are plenty of those people here. Vietnam is a country of labyrinthine streets, roads, and alleys. By far the best way, sometimes the only way, to navigate these precarious passageways is on two wheels. So popular are motorbikes here that as of 2020, there were over 65 million registered motorcycles in Vietnam. That's seven and a half times as many as in the United States, in a country with a fraction of the population. Pretty much all of Saigon looks like this. Ho Chi Minh City alone had over 7.6 million motorbikes by the end of 2021. The number is about the same in Hanoi, a city half the size. The two-wheel traffic in Hanoi is getting so bad that the city plans to ban motorbikes in inner districts by 2030. But I say the chaos of congestion is what makes riding a motorbike here oh so much fun. Now riding a motorbike through this city does take uh, a high degree of alertness so I'm headed to one of my favorite coffee franchises here in Saigon. Cue the dick jokes. Xin chào, xin chào. Cafe Den Da Kum Dung. And uh, 35,000 BND, it's about a dollar 25. My conversion math is right. If you like strong coffee, you'll love Vietnamese coffee. <sighs> Fuck, that's good. The motorbike culture here can seem insane to the untrained Western eye, as the rules of the road are at best fast and loose. Not to mention that the Vietnamese will carry just about anything on a motorbike. Stacks of bags, bottles, bike parts, and birds. Even stacks of other people. But for those of you looking to simply cart around your keister and not the kitchen sink, there are plenty of places that will rent you a bike for a few bucks and your passport book. Like this place. Saigon Happy Biker. What's he say? <laughs> this is my friend Bao, and his shop is right in the center of the backpacker district where he rents and sells motorbikes. It costs uh, about 150 and 200,000 Vietnam dong for one day. For those of you unversed in Vietnamese dong, that's only about six to eight dollars per day. You can leave him your passport, which he'll lock in his safe or a one to $200 deposit, depending upon the value of the bike. Learning to ride in this traffic, however, is all up to you. What happens if there's an accident, if something happens to the motorbike? If they have big accident, maybe they die. If they have big accident, maybe they die. Chances are you probably won't die in Saigon's slow moving traffic. But if you were to crash the bike, there's no simple insurance solution to cover you. You're basically on the hook for repairs. Where's your license? It's on the bumper, man, back there, man. No, I mean your driver's license. And as far as licenses go, it's a very gray area. Technically, you're supposed to have an international driver's license or a temporary Vietnamese one. 
I've been pulled over several times without either, and let's just say I paid the fine on the spot for, at most, a few hundred BND. I've also been let off the hook when I pointed my camera at the cops. Today I will remind you. Yeah. And uh, slow. Uh, slow. Slowly. Slowly. Uh, this limit here, 50, only 50 kilometers. Oh, ah, very slowly. The VTEC Aspero 130. This DTEC is what's known as the backpacker bike. For those of you with a bit more wanderlust for this wonderful country, Bao will sell you a motorcycle that can make it safely to Hanoi starting at $400 used or $800 new. Let's give it a spin. I don't know if I'd really enjoy riding this thing during the day, having to fan the clutch in all the congested traffic, but at one o'clock in the morning, when the streets are relatively empty, man, is this an enjoyable way to see Saigon. Next up is this Honda XR 150. No dirt roads in Saigon per se, but who doesn't love a dirt bike? We're having a little trouble getting the thing started. Oh, empty. Empty. Empty, empty. This XR is the most fun toy that I have pulled out of Bao's garage. A 150 is not a giant motorcycle, but ripping around the streets of Saigon on it is big fun. My friend Vux and I had a blast kicking the tires on Bao's bikes, especially the XR. Hella fun. Right? Hella fun. That's too low. What these motorcycles are meant for are the mountains. If you're taking a trip up the dirty roads to Dalat, this is the two-wheel toy to do it on. Bao rents the XR for $30 a day and sells them starting around $1,500. We're starting our tour of feeding the homeless on motorbikes in District 1, Ho Chi Minh City. And Bao here, he's got the uh, crappy old bike, but he's lent me the Cadillac of motorbikes, the Suzuki NVX Special. This thing has like a uh, knockoff Vance and Heinz muffler on it. 155cc motorbike. In the world of motorbikes, it doesn't sound like a lot in the world of motorcycles in the United States, but a 155cc motorbike in Vietnam is like a uh, Harley Davidson 1200. <laughs> We're here at the restaurant picking up the first batch of food and these are the fine ladies preparing the meals for the homeless tonight. Around 100 meals. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's this is, uh, believe it or not, it's not the exciting part. <laughs> it's where we get on the road. I got my friend Vux along for the ride tonight. He did this ride with Bao and I and his friend Ava a few weeks ago. We got Vux today. We got Ava. And at their office today, apparently, they collected donations from coworkers, 750,000 VND. Oh yeah, I forgot I even had the mic. We got a few donations today really about touching other people's lives. And um, let's join in, man. It's really a beautiful thing. Hello. Look. If you're looking to not only do a tour of Saigon on a motorbike, but also help out the homeless, you can do the ride with Bao just about every night at 7 p.m. Donate 10 bucks for the food, and he'll provide the motorbike to follow him around on. Back at home, and what I do is very tough terrain, you know, riding up the mountains and the valleys, but Saigon is a different monster. If you want a guided motorbike tour from Ho Chi Minh City to the Coochie Tunnels and Mekong Delta, or to the Lat and Nha Trang on a dirt bike, hit me up in the comments and I can take you myself for a fee that includes the bike, food, lodging, and a heaping dose of sanity as you tour the terrain of this country I call home. A wonderful country. A country called Vietnam. All right, let's go. Subscribe and stay tuned. And remember, keep the rubber on the road. The city looks really gorgeous right now. We've had thunderstorms all day long and it's golden hour right now. The sun is just set and you know how a place can look after a rainstorm. The air is clean, 
the ground has that uh, wet down look like you see in movies. And uh, it is about rush hour. So this is prime time for motorbiking. 